Hi Sagittarius. So, this is a kaleidoscope. And this is what I'm naming your reading. It's Kaleidoscope Vision. There's a lot of different avenues. There's a lot of things that look attractive. There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot in the view. And here you are at the bottom of the deck next to the sun oof so good we'll get there though the star so airy season is saying that you have what it takes and that you have everything you need to go through this portal. That's what I'm calling airy season. The portal. That's what their last, what their March reading was called. You can go back and watch it if you'd like. Um, this is about you stepping into this full, about you stepping into this full space of being who you are and really using the, what you have to open up a new path. So the Knight of Swords can be a few different things, but next to these two cards, it's really about just being really clear, really direct, and realizing what you have, and realizing that you always have had what was needed to keep going. You might have to, it might have started in Aquarius season, you might have felt agitated. Um, there could be parts of you that are like, have been frustrated or stuck or felt like you were just working on something that's not that doesn't feel like it's coming out to be anything but that's not true also this energy is opening up a whole new space for you so the knight of swords with the stars like is creating like this world opening because the cycle that's ending is realizing that you don't need all the extra stuff to just do what you got to do because you have it and it's right you've always had it it's just about surrounding yourself with people who show you that as well. And so you might also need to be really straightforward with a, an Aquarius in your life if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Just be careful that you don't just like cut off their head. It's okay to be really honest and truthful and blunt and you need to be that and that's what I love about you. And if they're not, cause it's like, the back is turned so they're also so let me hold that now that I said that I think it's more about there could be an Aquarius or someone in someone with an Aquarian nature in your life that's kind of maybe coming for like stabbing you in the back it could be that they could be jealous they could be there's a whole slew of things that they could be but it's really important for you not to, uh, just because you know what to do now doesn't mean you go doing all of this outwardly. You can do it internally. You can do it with yourself. And then when it comes to show up, no matter how it looks or they look presenting themselves, you know what you've been working on. You see what you have and you just, just go. Use the Knight of Swords energy to open up for you. Don't use it as something that's going to, you're going to regret in the future. The fire signs this month are being asked to use this fire, because it's fiery, very strong, powerful fire, within your own nature, wisely, right? So the world is opening up for you. These cycles of you you know, maybe thinking or doubting or all, any of the, having people around you that doubt, all of that is ending. You have to be willing to go with it. And it might look different than what you thought it was going to look like. So here you are at the bottom, next to the sun, next to the lovers, next to death. All of these cards, next to the Hierophant, next to the Empress. Just a lot, a lot of cards showing you the light showing you where to go showing you how to move 
or how to use your movement, rather. So, I'm going to keep these out. These three. These, this time, is showing you the light because it wants, it's bringing you closer to what your direction is. If you have been, we've been talking a lot about honoring the part of you that no one knows when to go and knows what to say when to say it because you're the way that you direct things are is very powerful the archer the you see the bullseye now and you're starting to see it and it's getting closer and the way that you maneuver now is really according to the light it's according to where it's drawing you to and where it's having you commit to in those next steps it's also there could be a leo or a gemini gemini strong in your life um helping bring you that way they're helping to show you what it is that i'm talking about so you so when they do present this to you instead of feeling and you could be triggered but instead of use what they're telling you wisely it might be some they might say something that really shows you something honor it it seems like a really positive thing that's bringing you closer. So more major arcana. The chariot, the high priestess, the magician, another you card. Very strong here. There's so much happening. Your purpose is aligning. You see what's true. So this is a few things. So I have a few different descriptions for this. And you'll see it once we once you get the visual of the cards. It's really important for you to discern what you want to use on your table, who has been deceitful, and how you have allowed that to get in your way of your blessings, because they're coming now no matter what. This Wheel of Fortune is going to go throughout for a while. As you're on the axis of the eclipses, I know we talked about that a lot. So there could be a direction now forming the chariot being also the cancer card a high priestess so another gemini strong so gemini so the eclipses are really big for you this is just having you really sit and take a look with about where you how you want to go and how you want to use this energy that you have and how you want to move from here and of course you want to go in the direction of your fortune so the high priestess is saying the chariot wants to move, the magician wants to move, there wants, there's movements that wants to be made, but you need to get really clear about what you're using and how you're moving. Because this is going to keep going and going and going and going. And what you're learning is to be the true Sagittarius that you are. Airy season is about the self for everyone. So it's like, who the Sag Sagittarius in you really is. So it's being able to see the vision, this kaleidoscope, so it's the light. When the light hits in various areas, you see many different colors and you can see many different forms start to take shape. So the high priestess in this moment is about committing to that committing to the vision that shows you many different avenues instead of sticking to just one mundane thing. Getting connected with who you are at your true nature and how you move at your true nature. You might need to move away from people, places, things that were that have showed you that that's not what you want. And you've known that you might have known that for a while. And it's now time to make that movement in that direction towards yourself. And when you do speak this, don't allow anyone to make excuses, defend themselves or anything like that. You can hear them out, sure. 
but it doesn't mean that you have to stay put. If you know it's time to go from certain places and time to move on from certain things and you're seeing what's being opened up for you and seeing what or who you can really connect with and take things far with into this bigger view, into this kaleidoscope, do it. There is no time like the present for you right now. And when you talk, if they don't listen, it's not up to you to prove it or show it. You need to, whatever you're saying, maybe you, if, if they're not listening or whoever's not listening, you just take it. Say, okay, they're not listening. They're not whatever. I'm just going to move on it. I said this, so now I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to act on it. I'm just going to move forward. And by the end of the year, There's a lot, a lot, a lot from now until your season, so much is gonna be happening for you. And you just, the reason why it's important to do what you're doing now in this season is because the portal is open. Airy season being the portal in my opinion, again. And it's up to you to decide how you want to do this year. Because if you do this year the way Sagittarius wants to do this year, then by the end of the year, not only are you going to be satisfied with all the work, with all the creation, with all the form, with all the, the whole vision, it's then you can see even bigger and wider. And you're going to look back and be so glad that you decided now to do what you do. Because so many blessings, all the blessings, all the fruition, all the good things are coming to you. And if there is, there's a possible opportunity of connection, a deeper connection with um, your partner. And I also do want to say that I learned something about the lovers. It's about things coming out. So... You could have to sit with some things that come out about um, a Leo or a Cancer in your life and take what you hear and move on with it. You, Right now, everyone's being revealed truths about things. <laughs> and if you're triggered, know that that's, of course, your work. Um, but also, if you hear certain things about people, especially if they have they have to do with you again make your moves accordingly according to how you want to move Sag it's really important I can't stress that enough um because you're going to keep learning and you're kind of sh you're showing us through the eclipses in the way that Gemini is saying it and still doing it and you're doing it and saying little you don't have to say too much you know, that's not how gen generally a Sag rolls. Maybe you're like, you say a lot when it's like time to hang, time to party, but when it has to do with what you're doing, it's that movement, it's that direction, it's just what you do that keeps you moving. So when you do see the light about a couple people in your life, I do, that, I do think that's for a lot of you. Sit with it and then adjust accordingly. No one and nothing can stop the blessings except for you. So it's really important for you to choose wisely and to go. And just know the world is open for you. It's about you really letting, like last season, I talked about letting go of these heavy cycles. And again, that's always gonna show up to be, we're gonna always, we, when we decide to do something, or when I, as you, decide to do things and make decisions about something that, maybe about a habit that you're changing or something that you, you're going against and you normally did this, but now you're doing this, you're going to be presented other opportunities to continue in the way that you've been choosing. And some call it other things, but I want to say opportunity because you're going to be given the opportunity to speak up 
and say what you need to say. And if you're heard, you're heard. If you're not, you're not. It doesn't matter. You still have to do what you're, you set out to do. And that's for everyone. But for you, it's really important right now because you need to be able to rely on your person, your body, what you do, how you move. Because that's the key for you. So we'll look at the cards. Very exciting. It's really about just doing you, opening up, moving, moving accordingly, adjusting accordingly, not making too big of a fuss and just keep going. I love you, see you next month. Information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below. Okay, so I named this kaleidoscope vision and we'll get to that. And I just wanna mention all the circles. And then, then we have the star and the star is similar to sextiles in the way that those form in astrology. And these are the circles, the cycles, the openings, the portals, and you're being shown a lot, right? So you ever, the top row is about what's happening in Aries season is also the larger grand scheme of the next quite a few years. Let's just put it that way. And so this season is opening up the path of the beginning of whatever new things you're starting, whatever inside of you is coming out that has that you've been curating, working on, working towards understanding acknowledging being grateful for seeing yourself and then as you move forward the challenge is it's going to see the light the whole way because just like everybody we all have the positive sides of us also have a negative spin but we need to see those things so one thing that's generalized about Sagittarius is they're fun free loving carefree say what they want do what they want life of the party blah 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 and not to downplay it I'm sorry it's a beautiful way of being you and then the other side is that you can get stuck in when you're not free and free to roam you get you can get stuck and that's why we talked about being free in your mind recently because last year for everyone it's we've become stuck in a sense but really it's just sitting and seeing what's working what doesn't what parts of us need to change it's like total monk shit but then trauma so there's a lot that goes into that in the state of the world but I don't want to put that on you your experience could have been as a Sagittarius of wanting to break free and then haven't been able to. Now Aries season is the chance and it will be a bigger chance as we go into the summer for you, which is showing up here. All of these major arcanas where there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. So nine being the number of also cycles. <laughs> so... We all, fin we all have been finishing up cycles last season. If you're one of those who are, who are actively working on yourself or, you know, loving yourself, love, whatever way you want to put it. And now airy season, I ca I'm calling the portal. This is also about the restructuring of the planets. So moving in to the summer, you are being open to see the light to really make perfect timing decisions you're going to be presented something and you're going to have to respond to it and you might have to break a contract and start a new one this could be conjoining with a Sagittarius or sorry with a Leo or this is very strong Gemini energy so I really do feel like it could be a Gemini or a Cancer and it could be sitting with this and understanding how you want to make this move and you might end up wanting to do things alone so then we have the magician so it's really important to navigate how these new contracts are going to be and how you want to play them out and the smartest way to do it for you because you need your freedom this is very clear you need to be free to roam free to do what you have to do because there's so much more out there for you and that the blessings aren't going to stop until well, they're going to keep going, but once we get to your season, it, you're going to be able to see all of the fruition, everything you've been working on. Everything that you've been asking for to materialize is going to start happening in Taurus season. And you may see even greater where you stand and who you're becoming and the freedom that you've acquired and this huge ability to be stable physically, mentally, emotionally in all of the ways and now you know that it couldn't happen until now. The kaleidoscope vision is about being able to see all the different possibilities that are 
constantly going to present themselves and you're finally in the right place to make decision after decision after decision and act upon it and act right when you want to. So it's like being, it's like having that great rest and then you're finally like, yes, I'm ready. Because sometimes we really need the rest, but we resist it because we need it so bad because we want to go, go, go. And you're good at that. But if last year taught you anything, it's that taking account of things, checking on you, even if the pentacles, it could be your body, checking on what you need, doing that and then keep doing what you need to do to keep going. It's incredible. And there's going to be so much more joy, so much more fun like kaleidoscope vision like yeah some people that could be not so enticing and it could be so uh it could be even dizzy it can cause dizziness or nausea to some people but for you it's like the most exciting thing I feel for anyone who has Sagittarius in their chart so you need to be really true to you and keep that going and keep conversing that with the universe and with God because this is good shit so there's so much I can repeat, but I'm not going to because I think that's the best way to do it. I love you. I'll see you next month. And I really, this is good, just amazing, golden kaleidoscope. I love you.